You spent $800,000 on a field. You can't get it right. This is the Super Bowl. Come on. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Philly Halftime. Hats off to Kansas City. They beat the Eagles in the Super Bowl, 38-35. Hats off to them. Now, I'm going to keep it real. Jonathan Gannon is a huge problem. He does not change his scheme. Once he has his little ch play chart, that's all he does. The same way all the time. You're dealing with Andy Reid. Good coaches know how to change up in the middle of the system. In a game, you got to learn that. I mean, come on. Andy Reid called a play for the right side. They hands down get the touchdown on it. They go back down the field. They use the same play, but use it on the left side, and you don't have an answer for it. Slay, Maddox, get on the same page. Just communicate. Yo, know, say, yo, get, cover that guy or something. Something. More talking. Yes, I'm putting it on, on the defense. But you can't give up. Jalen Hurts have played a great game. Do not get me wrong. But a fumble, a turnover for a touchdown, that hurt us. Quez Watkins, that bomb that Jalen Hurts threw you, you catch that. This is the biggest moment of the of the year. You must come down with that. It was right there. Jalen Hurts couldn't have put it any better for you. And you failed. So, I say on that point right there, Quez has to go. He's been failing all year long. He's driving me crazy. I don't know what's going to happen with Miles Sanders. Miles Sanders keeps on putting the ball on the ground. And he put the ball on the ground a couple of times. And it was kind of scary. That he, lucky one was overturned. Because he actually caught it. Because he was making a football move. I know people are going to disagree with me. But I'm right on this. Too bad that the referees don't know what a catch is to not a catch. I don't understand it. How can you not know what a catch is? Hats off to Dallas Goddard, guys. That dude was making outstanding catches last night. He left it all on the field. And by the way, with that field, that field sucked. When everybody's slipping and uh, bo people on Kansas City side's complaining about the field... The Eagles are complaining about the field. You spent $800,000 on a field. You can't get it right. This is the Super Bowl. Come on. And that ticks me off. But the only problem I have is Jonathan Gannon is going to Arizona. Good riddance. If you cannot uh, switch up a scheme, good riddance. Get the hell out. We need you to be able to blitz. We need you to be able to... Get to Patrick Mahomes. You got to come up with a play that does the job. And you didn't. I mean, we're going to lose a lot of guys this, on this offseason now. I think Kelsey's going to retire. I think Brandon Graham's going to retire. I think um, Fletcher Cox is going to retire. You might. Lane Johnson, I don't think, is going to go somewhere. But he might be thinking about retiring because he gets hurt every year. He might retire. Uh, I don't think he is. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying he is. But don't tell me he's thinking in the back of his head, hey, maybe I should call it a career. I mean, we got a lot to look into, guys. Jalen Hurts did not... He didn't play a bad game. He played a, rare, a real good game. He played outstanding, actually. You just can't put the ball on the ground. Turnovers cost you games. Stupid penalties cost you games. 
<clears throat> I know everybody's talking about the last play and that really that, that was a that wasn't a penalty. It's a penalty by book, but they let it go all the time. Refs let that go all the time. That little bit of touch, touchy feely, they let that go all the time. Just that's what cost us the big game. Everybody just wanted to see if Jalen Hurts in less two minutes can go down the field and score and do something with the ball. So did the rest cost us the game? No. Because it was a penalty. This is the only time that they called a penalty because they let the guys play the game. So that's why people are mad. I'm explaining to you why people are mad. I'm not saying it's the refs that why we lost the game. We lost a, right, a, a game because our defensive quarter cannot switch up a play. And City goes down, picks a play. They score a touchdown. They do the opposite. And they'll, go, they'll do the same play but opposite of the field. So one was on the right side, then he went back to back. One was on the left side. And Jonathan Gannon can't say, hey, we got to do this. Slay's leaving guys wide open and not talking to Maddox. You can't leave guys wide open. Stop leaving. You got they're walking in. Nobody around them. Stop this. It's crazy how it, it, it would happen. And all I can do is blame blame Jonathan Gannon. And that poor ass tackling. All year long I've been saying it. You don't tackle in practice. When you come to the game, you're not gonna be able to tackle. And guess what? Poor ass tackle. You couldn't tackle a running back. You couldn't tackle nothing. You couldn't tackle Patrick Mahomes. Hey, Tom, you're winning by 10. And Patrick Mahomes comes out. And what happens? What happens? We don't blitz. We don't try to go after him. We play soft. So he picks us apart. Gannon, I'm glad, I, I'm hoping you got that Arizona job. Catch you on catch you on the rebound. Get the hell out of Philly. It's just idiotic, stupid stuff. We lost. We shot ourselves in the foot. Turnovers. Bad freaking penalty calling. We shot ourselves in the foot. We didn't go after the quarterback and blitz and Try to get to the quarterback. We shot ourselves in the foot. We lost the game because we didn't want to play the game that got us there. That's what you had to do. You had to play, play the game that got you there. And you're not doing it. How you not play the game that got you to the Super Bowl? Play the game that got you to the Super Bowl. Blitz. Sack people. That's what you had to do. You had to play the game that got you there, and you're not doing it, Dannon. That's why you need to go. And now we have Stike, and he's going to go, and it seems like he's going to the Colts. I really don't want to see Stike and go, but I actually think he's going to be a, a good coach somewhere. Who's going to do the play calling? You know, is it going to be Nick Sariani next year? We have to find out. It's my rant for the Eagles game, guys. You got to put it on Jonathan Gannon. He didn't get his defense ready. They weren't ready. They weren't blitzing. They weren't. They didn't. The defense did not play the game that got them to where they're at. And when you know somebody's hurt, you smell the blood in the water. You're like a shark. You smell the blood and water. You go for it. But they didn't do that. They let him just pick them apart, and that's what he did. But I'm not I'm not going to be sitting here turning a blind eye that J Jalen Hurts didn't fumble the football and cost us that. 
I'm not turning a blind on any of it. There, there's weak parts that happen in the Super Bowl, and I don't. I'm, I'm a fan. I'm just gonna say what what happened, and that's it. I mean, yeah, Jalen Hurts fumbled the ball once, but he threw for three something. He did good. Two touchdowns, two passing touchdowns, two running touchdowns, or something. Three, over 300 yards, four, almost 400 yards. Those Jalen Hurts, you did a great job. Miles Sanders. Hey, man, you're getting me nervous by putting the ball on the ground. You cannot turn the ball over. Kansas City didn't turn the ball over once. Turning the ball over cost you. Stupid penalties cost you. I don't let I don't let nobody slide. This is the big game. The big show. This is what got you here. You guys put that performance on. You're up by 10 points. And you stop. You stop. No, you don't ever take your foot off their neck. Don't do that. You don't do it. I'm just pissed. I am. I'm just mad. I'm sorry, guys. But there was good plays. Hurts threw a, a beautiful play uh, pass to um, A.J. Brown. Yeah, Jalen Hurts threw a beautiful pass to Quez Watkins, and he don't come up with it. Quez, I'm done, buddy. You got to go. You're next. Get the hell out of Philly. Because you got to come up with that play. If you would have had that play, that would have took the sale out of the Kansas City Chiefs. They would have went, it could have turned the whole game if you would have came up with that. But you didn't. See, big plays, they will, teams, you can take the sale out of a team. If you came up with that play. But you didn't. Quez has to go. I am done with Quez. He just he can't come up with that big catch. He can't come up with the big play. And I need a guy that can come up with the big play. He was he was right there. The ball was right there. And you don't come up with it. Why not? I know somebody's going to have an excuse for him, but to me, he's got to go. I'm done with him. All right, guys. Uh, like, subscribe. Comment below how you what you think about the game, and I'll catch you on the rebound.